have been, uh, you have overseen rollouts of BuzzFeed over all over the world, from Mexico to Japan. How do you approach these launches? Is there a similar strategy, or do you take a unique approach to each country? It's really a unique strategy, although I think the process that we use in each country is very, very similar. Um, the number one thing, I think, in all countries and all markets that we've gone into is finding the right people, which sounds a little bit like, I don't know, may sound like a management cliche, but it's absolutely true. When I look at the amount of time and effort I spend in the process when we go through a launch, it's very front-loaded. It's very much about finding the right partner, um, which is usually a founding editor, to help build the launch team and go from there. And if you have that really strong foundation, that's really essential. The strategy does vary from country to country depending on the readership, the kinds of brands that we're launching in country, um, and obviously the, the media market and culture of that country. So there's there's some things that remain the same throughout and then other things that change very widely. And what advice do you have for other news outlets that are looking to expand internationally, both in terms of uh, lessons learned from perhaps mistakes you've made or uh, best practices that have, have proved or been true, tried and true? Um, I think it's important not to try and do too much at once. Um, so BuzzFeed launched our first international edition in 2014, so four years ago. And since then, we've opened in 10 markets. That was probably too fast. <laughs> um, you know, I'm very proud of all the work that we've done, but looking back, I think if we had taken a slightly more measured approach, done more uh, work before the launch um, in research and market research, I think that would have helped. Um, so I would definitely caution people to not try and bite off too much at once. I think also really key is not to have a one-size-fits-all approach. So for us, most of our markets currently are owned and operated. We, you know, they're subsidiaries of BuzzFeed. We have one joint venture. Other companies have only joint ventures or only licensing. Uh, I think it's really important to think, what are your goals in each country? What are you hoping as a company to get out of having a presence there? And then let that dictate the approach.